The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services has officially announced the Medicare costs for 2024. Stick around, you don't want to miss this very important update. So Medicare just released the new premiums, deductibles, and coinsurance amounts for Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B. And we're going to see a little bit of an increase in these amounts in 2024. Medicare Part B covers medical services such as doctor visits, preventive care, lab work and tests, any outpatient hospital services and procedures such as surgeries and treatments, home health care, durable medical equipment like wheelchairs and assistive devices, and also medications that would not be covered under Part D of Medicare. The Medicare Part B premium in 2024 is increasing by $9.80 to $174.70 per month, which is up 5.9% from $164.90 in 2023. People with higher incomes may have to pay more for their Part B and Part D monthly premiums, and this is a monthly adjustment called IRMA. The Part B deductible is also going up a little bit in 2024 to $240 per year, which is up $14 from the $226 deductible in 2023. If you have a Medicare supplement plan, such as Plan G or Plan N, then you'll be responsible to pay this deductible first every year before Medicare and your supplement starts to pay. The deductible is still pretty low when you compare it to the out-of-pocket costs you could have with other types of Medicare plans. In 2024, for Medicare Part A, the premium for most people, if you worked at least 40 quarters, will be zero. If you have to buy Part A, then the premium could be up to $505 per month compared to 506 in 2023. The Part A hospital deductible is $1,632, which is up from $1,600 in 2023. This Part A deductible applies to each benefit period, and the benefit period starts when you enter the hospital and ends when you're out of the hospital for 60 days in a row. The Part A coinsurance for days 61 through 90 is $408 per day, which is up from 400 in 2023. Coinsurance for days 91 and beyond is $816 per day from 800 in 2023. If you have a Medicare supplement plan, such as Plan G or Plan N, then the supplement will cover these Part A costs for you. If you have a Part C Medicare Advantage PPO or HMO plan, then the out-of-pocket costs can vary. If you want to find out if you qualify for extra help paying for some of these Medicare costs, or if you want to find the best Medicare supplement plan that will work for your situation, then please call us. Our service is 100% free, and we're happy to help you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to watch our other videos to help you better understand your Medicare.